Trouble in White Run, and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Well met, Kinsman. I ain't done nothing. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Bah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls me. Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've Farangar. deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileff tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. The sword coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, 
I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. Gods and dragon sweeps say you aided the yard. So I'm the white run, I thank you. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Houseguard, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it. Even if we fail, this dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, You're no, so how far? But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out.
no signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out. And look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Gardner, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Let's save us. If he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count!
taught that dragon not to mess I with life. I believe it. Didn't you are dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Boosh! The, the voice of the Dragonborn. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. I've never heard of Ty Receptin killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. Say you left, being awfully quiet. Come on here then. Tell us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know who killed him. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Hauskar. You ain't at all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are dragon. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balgra will want to know what happened here. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. A man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Ride strong. My friend Maven and I... Have you met Maven in Riften? We know our place in this world. Know the place of others, too. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if we learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, 
feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. She cannot hide from us forever. You have news of our quarry. We will. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Mane. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Ah, oh, Ismail, you did it. Ah, you killed him. Isolder, was it? What brings well you? met, Kinsman. I'm here. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. There's been talk amongst the gods that you are dragonborn. But such a thing. Surely that's not In possible. Each of us, the future of Skyrim. The future of Tamriel. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Grey Beards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Krongar, don't be so hard on Avanich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? 
We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I'd like you to have this as a token of my friendship. Divine smile on you, friend. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the Way of the Voice, and taught Tiber Septim himself. Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess them. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books and my spells.
The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. See that it doesn't happen again. Some hunting? Avoid bitter shimpans in southeast of here. Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! Need supplies? See Bellator at his store. Sleece him. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. Well met, Kinsman.
I worry about the other settlements in the whole unwalled, likely man. That's close enough.
you speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Yes. Our order was founded after... We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and... And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. He is the God of Mercy. The patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found. By cleansing all those who would offend his children. The Vigil will be watching you. must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Have anything interesting to tell me? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I wish I could go with you.
The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. Taunted. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Take a look. Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrel. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. We never saw him again. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Let me know if there's that? anything else you need. 